How's it going everyone? Mask here, back with another Black Desert Mobile video. Now we've had another patch hit the game last night, and I've heard whispers that this one was pretty crazy. I haven't even read the notes yet, I'm just waking up a little later than I wanted, but here we are. You know the usual routine, let's pop open my favorite place to take a look at the patch notes. Here's Discord, we're gonna go add a server, join, it's discord.gg slash mask tv link should be on the screen right now and join all right we come in here welcome readme page we're gonna hit this black spirit symbol to unlock the black desert mobile section on the left hit patch notes announcements and let's zoom in to take a little bit of a closer look to make this easier to read all right we have update january 14th New boss, new world boss, Karanda. And check him out. Let's do it. New boss, new world boss, Karanda, the queen of harpies, has come to Black Desert Mobile. Abyssal grade dandelion weapons have a low chance. Dandelion? I feel like I'm saying that. Yeah, yeah. Have a low chance to be dropped by Karanda. Character level must be 50 or above to participate in the world boss. The raid time may change with the addition of other world bosses in the future. Taking a look at the new raid times, though, we have... A 12 till 14 o'clock server time world boss raid. So that is, if 8 is 8, 20 is 8, which means uh, 12 must be 8 is 11 for us. So 12 server times. So this is 3 p.m. till 5 p.m. Eastern. Interesting time, but at least I'm getting some sleep when I'm doing my world boss at that time. Guilds can collect tax. Guilds can collect guild bonuses. Guilds must be level 3 to participate in Node War. Preparation time for Node War has been changed from 12 till to 22 to 10 to 20 server time. Preparation time. We got a better Node War time. We did it. We did it. End of bidding time has changed from, uh, from, from 12 to 10 server time. Node War will now begin at 20. Change from the previous 22. Node War now begins at World Boss Spawn. Now, they completely overlapped it with the World Boss Spawn. To be perfectly honest with you. Um, whatever. If your Node War runs the full two hours, which it almost never does, then you'll miss World Boss. But it's not that big of a deal. Time. The wait time to participate in the Node War is now seven days after joining a guild. So they've made recruiting mercenaries virtually impossible for Node Wars, which, which I like. I do like that. Epic Grade Gear can now be crafted from the Blacksmith. They've updated the blacksmith so you can now craft yellow gear. Black Spirit Quest tier added. The maximum Black Spirit Quest tier has been op has been opened to 13, which you ac acquire at Black Spirit level 152. So right now our ma our max Black Spirit Quest used to be 1800 kills. Now at level 110, 124, which of both un of, of them I've unlocked, my quest now tiers up to 2000 kills, earning me 15 and 30, 15 stamps. 30 tablets respectively. Our highest tier now unlocks level 152, 2200 kills, 19 stamps, 38 tablets. UI improvements. Added trade resources button to, in the world gathering that will redirect players to the trading post. Improved the visual effect of equipping light stones to increase clarity. Fixed language issues that, when, that where the guild war records would not be visible in certain language. Changed show horse gear to only appear on horses with barding equipped. Now items that can be crafted will be rearranged and shown at the top of the list. Monster. Ilzera's servant in the boss rush has been nerfed. Sweet. Nerf boss rushes, that's good for me. PvP has been adjusted. CP differences in PvP modes have been adjusted so that the difference in CP is less significant. This is sweet. I've already heard people whispering about... I say whispering. I've, I've heard people saying the PvP arena has gotten a, a hefty adjustment and it really feels nice to actually... You, people are actually enjoying their time in there right now. This applies to both Arena and Ramonas. Ramonas points awarded from defeating Lagos or destroying the statue have been changed. Hopefully nerfed. They were so crazy. Uh, the rewards from Red Spoils of Battle when level 50 or higher has been improved. That is sweet. So the icons for Dark Energy Chest have been changed. System, limit on the number of players that can enter a language chat has been removed. 
Fix an issue where the loot list levels would, not, would occasionally not show on the world map. Fixed an issue where weasels would spawn in unintended areas in Iwa's Hill. <laughs> what? Fixed an issue where unreleased pets, Snowball, Rose Finch, and Snowflake Rose Finch would be visible in the market. Fixed an ish, an, a UI issue where the check all tab would not reach the bottom when UI scale had been changed. There was a lot of issues with UI scaling. Now when select mode is enabled in storage and camp, item names will appear when items are tapped. Fix an issue where the rewards, the reward pop-up box for total boss knowledge would be shown abnormally, probably UI scaling. Fix an issue where Cron Castle's story would become, would become available after completing To the Harbor. Fix an issue where relics were lower in CP would have a higher CP indicator in the tooltip. Interesting. Fix an issue where the encourage all button would not appear when entering the camp for the first time. Fix an issue where fusing outfits would play the sound effect twice and not once. Fix an issue where the timer indicating the time left for Bloodkin quests to be accepted was still visible after the quest became available. Fix an issue where the empty slot would appear when, er when area information loot info was scrolled to the bottom and back to the top again. Fix an issue where maximizing the chat window and minimizing it would result in the size of the chat tabs becoming bigger than normal. Fix an issue where edit mode was visible in a friend's camp. Fix an issue where the combat plus information box was still visible when sleep mode was activated, then deactivated in the preparation phase of boss rush. Fix an issue where tooltips of relics would be inaccurate in certain zones. Fix an issue where adjusting the UI through UI scaling would cause the tutorial UI to function normally. Many UI scaling issues that they're, they're hashing their way through. Fix an issue where the recommended CP for boss rush would be incorrect. Fix an issue where the auto-adjusted graphic settings would not be correctly reflected in the settings menu. Now the adjusted graphic settings should now be correctly shown in the settings menu. All right, events. New event, happy bagel event. Yes, I've been looting bagels from my killing so far in game and I'm happy, I'm excited to find out what that's for. Black Spirit special quest, sorceress release countdown. Let's go. There's your answer, the new class. More details to come. Collect Wish Marbles for 2020 is ending. Finally, get these Wish Marbles out of here. It's the New Year Daily Mission event. New Year's Resolution event. It's been great. Moving on. Goodbye. Pearl Shop. New items. Daily special deals. Lower steps of fortune. Daily lucky chest. Resource package. We will review all of them. Pearl Shop event. Relic fragment and lightstone purchase event. Boss rush tablets and chests is ending daily value box, and all pl one plus one items, whoosh, gone. All right, now let's jump into game. Take a closer look at everything here. I like to go to settings, official forum, and uh, and, and take a look at what they have in here first. New world boss Karanda. What are you going to tell me about that? Big flying harpy. Karanda, the queen of harpies, have come to Black Desert Mobile. Abyssal grade dandelion weapons have a low chance to be dropped by Karanda. Update, Node War season begins. Why does this fall under under the... Uh, that is interesting that this would fall under the Karanda click. Unless this is a general patch note tab. Blacksmith update, epic main and shoes, epic armor and gloves, epic sub weapon and helmet. 11, 12, and 13 respectively. This is just a, a quick visual summary of everything we've already looked at. Fantastic and great. All right, let's see if we can get more specifics on the actual current events that we have. Collaboration event, Sorceress class update, free login event. Log into Black Desert Mobile every day. Press the gift box item, collect the Sorceress release countdown attendance rewards. Day 14 login, gift of the Sorceress. Tenants will reset. Claimed rewards can be found in the inventory. All right, we'll look at that one in-game where we can actually see what the rewards are. Black Spirit's special quest. Complete the special quests the Black Spirit has prepared during the event. From the event tab, you can drag the quest list to see the various quests available. Black Spirit quests, fuse crystals, and clear boss rushes. The quest in the event can only be completed once. Oh, and some decent rewards: forty scrolls, forty tablets, and twenty armor grand or uh, twenty grand armor or ah, good armor stones. Not bad at all. Collect bagel coupons. The bagel daily event. Defeat monsters and collect bagels. 
Exchange for items in the event tab. Exchange bagel coupons for items in the event tab. Collect bagel coupons. Bagel day event. So we've been very similar to events we've already seen. The one thing I will say about these events is they seem to actually take away from our drop rates because we some of the actual our drop rates are consumed by looting these bagel coupons. So they're great and all, but not necessarily the best. Bagel coupons are spirit bound to the family and cannot be traded or sold to the shop. All bagel coupons will be removed when the event ends. All rewards can be found in the inventory, so on and so forth. We'll look at the actual drops from that in game as well. Get lucky and roll the dice, Black Spirits Adventure event. And that is the end of that. In game, let's take a look at that shiny gift tab. Happy bagel day. Already got 121 bagels. We got lightstone fragments, ancient tablets, mid grade resource chest, high grade crystal chests. Good weapon black stones and good armor black stones, all at a fairly reasonable price. One exchange, one exchange, you know you're going to do these, so go ahead and click them. 56, can't afford it yet. 45, ancient tablets, that'll get done, I'll exchange those. And what's in the bagel chest? This is the infinite exchange, the one you're going to be doing the most. A cream cheese bagel, a pretzel bagel, and an all dressed bagel? No way! Oh my gosh, that's funny. Black Spirit... Special quest. Oh, there's also keep going. We got ancient runes for 20 weapon good stones and defeat enemies. Mission complete. Supreme crystal chest. Not bad. All right. Sorceress release countdown. Day one check. The final day gets us 100 ancient gold coins. One co one combat plus one day. Life plus three days and black spirit plus three days and three standard pallets. Not as exciting as I thought for that chest. 24 tablets on day 12. Everything past uh, past day 14 is pretty silly. We're getting a lot of stamina pots, which are actually nice. Magic condensed dark energy chest, kind of meh. Um, decent, but we're getting a new class and we got a countdown. Let's do it. People are preparing now. They can properly save resources up for this new class. I'm so excited for that. 2020 attendance, nothing else new here. Whew! Happy Bagel Day. That's it. Black Spirit Quests, check, check, check. Let's jump in the shop and see what's new. Daily Special Deals Renewal. Daily Max per Family, Tier 2 to Tier 3 Pet Chest, 700 Pearls. This is actually a solid value. Tier 2 to Tier P3. A Tier 2 Pet is worth 1,000 Pearls. So you're guaranteeing a Tier 2 Pet. You're already coming out profiting. It's worth 800 with good luck. I call it worth a thousand with the with the luck of actually successfully combining your two tier ones because you can fail that. 700, fantastic deal for a tier two pet. And if you score a tier three pet for 700, a tier three pet is worth 1600 with perfect luck. I would say it's worth. Two, I would pay 2,000. I would pay 2,000 pearls for a tier three pet before paying 1600 to buy four tier ones and try to get lucky to, to roll them together too many fail opportunities two tier one combines and one tier two combined have to be successful to get a tier three pet definitely worth 2000 and the rates on these boxes has, have almost always been 50 50 they do have to tell us those rates so let's check them out now in the drop rate section good old apple enforcing their ha their, their law forcing developers to give us these rates. That, that's who you can thank for always being able to look this up. Tier 1 to Tier 2 pet chest. Um, actually, this is the Tier 1 to Tier 2. Have, do they have the Tier 2 to Tier 3 pet chest in here? They, uh, they have to. Social tokens. Novice and Master skill book chest. All right. <clears throat> well, a quick reach out will uh, will get us this answer. That's for sure. Palace shop, condensed dark energy. So twelve. This is the twelve dash oh four update. Tier one to tier two pet chest, and it was a fifty fifty split between tier one and tier two. I'm assuming it's the same uh, for this one here. Although tier three is pretty up there, but we should see. Uh, where did it just disappear on me? Featured tier one pet chest. Where was my? I was just staring at a tier two to tier three pet chest, and it seems to have vanished. 
Anyway, let's uh, let's take a look. Tier 1 pet chest, nothing new. Daily lucky chest, epic relic. Uh, get one of these items at random. Epic crystal, epic relic, epic lightstone, tier 1 pet chest, ancient tablets. So the daily lucky chest, I did see in these drop rates. Let's just see what else. So when I go over to that menu, we got it all in front of us. Resource package. I wouldn't buy that. Conqueror of bosses. Very expensive. Not enough. Uh, I, you, you get way too many of these resources naturally in game. Rapid growth chest is no good. All in one pet chest is a good value uh, for what you're actually getting from it. Growth support package. Definitely not looking great. Rookie development package. Tier 1 to tier 2 pet chest times 1. Very expensive for the fact that you're getting almost nothing. Uh, well, actually, the t if you if, it's the fact that you can possibly get a tier one that makes this package gross. If you can get it, if you can pull off a tier two, then it's not so bad with the good stones. But it's still like just maybe sliding into being worth it. New adventurer package, um, max per character. I thought I already got this. No, I did not. I got the one that gives me inventory. That one's not great either. The rest of the packages look very meh. Oh, it's under the daily special deals, tier two to tier three pet chest. So they need to give us the rates on this chest. They absolutely do. So we, you will see that updated. They probably just haven't updated the rate page yet. And a quick reach out to support should have that updated lickety split because uh, the, the, the app stores, specifically Apple's, absolutely mandate that, that things like this have to give us the rates on what comes out of these chests. Obtain a tier two to tier three. It's a, it's a violation of the, the terms of service of the app store from a developer side if they don't. So a tier two to tier three pet chest. If it's like the tier 1 to tier 2, you have a 50% chance either way. Fantastic value if you're trying to max your pets out anyhow. Monday, we have a weapon enhancement chest. Grand weapon blackstone times 20. Good weapon blackstone times 80. Don't have the price on it yet, but their, their prices on grand stones so far have been great. And the people in my guild have been saying that there's a good chance that the armor and the weapon stones are going to be the, the other packages from here that are, that are definitely worth it. Relic fragments and lightstone fragments on Thursday. Keep an eye out for the price on that. That could be worth it as well. Ancient tablets and boss stamps and ancient gold coins I never find worth buying out of the shop. They're just never priced very well at all. <laughs> lightstone event. Looks like we just got a free lightstone fragment. They say they're hot. Daily max per family, 10 out of 10. Lightstone fragment bundle times 100. That's just with black pearls. Featured. Trending. Refreshes in. Daily special deals. Lower steps of fortune. Up, upper steps of fortune. I did think that they said there was something about lightstone specifically. <clears throat> Fragments. This all looks pretty normal in here though. All right, uh, as far as cash shop goes, you're looking at these daily special deals as potentially, uh, there, there's some value added in these daily special deals, tier two to tier three pet chest for 700. Take, keep your eye on the, the weapon and armor enhancement stones, fragment bundle, um, and, and the fragment bundle. All of them seem like there could be enough value to have them worth buying. As far as packages goes, nothing was added that I really, oh, the daily lucky chest. Now, the, the reason I, I laughed at it is because I actually glanced at the rates already. This chest is very, very uh, bait. Oh my gosh. Here's the 114 update. Epic relic chest, 0.2% probability. Epic lightstone chest, 0.2%. Epic crystal chest, 0.8%. Tier 1 pet chest, 3.8. Boss stamps, 15%. 17% for ancient tablets. 21%. For ancient gold coins, good weapon black stones, and good armor black stones. So don't be baited by the wicked awesome rewards being posted on the top of that package because the rates on them 250, 250 pearls each, daily max per family four. The only things on this list worth pulling, a tier one pet chest is hardly worth pulling. You're only saving yourself 150 pearls if you pull a tier one pet chest. Everything below that, garbage rates. The only things worth getting are the three at the top at less than a percent chance. 0 0.2! 0 0.2 and it was like 0.8. So there was like a 1.2% chance that your 250 pearls is worth it here. This chest is absolutely bait and a terrible, terrible deal. 
only things that were introduced that were even worth looking at like once again is the stuff in the new daily special deals that got a refresh <clears throat> that's gonna do it for the cash shop update we've looked at the new events let's take a quick glance at our new world boss karanda spawning in three hours and nine minutes the dandelion staff Woo! check it out two percent crit chance four percent attack speed that's six percent sub stats wait a second <laughs> Kazarka staff. Okay, it's the same. 4% crit chance. I haven't glanced at these. As I'm a, I don't dream that much. 4% crit chance, 2% attack speed. 4% attack speed, 2% crit chance. So they're opposite on their focused substats, which is nice. So you have that variety available. For when you know you pull your your red weapon inevitably. Like probably today when you fight Karanda for the first time. You never know. Maybe the rates are jacked. Relic of Al. Whew, craziness. Ultimate Grunnel Armor, Skill Book Increase AP, and of course the Orange Refined Black Crystal Weapon. New World Boss, and super importantly, we actually got a refresh to our Node War time, and I really thought there was a specific release just on that. Let's see if we can find it. This uh, forum drives me nuts, because I can never find the English releases under global news i come in here and every single time i get every single language but english this drives me absolutely crazy unless this is the fix here global news every language but english what am i doing wrong let me know in the comments down below have you been to this menu where do you find just straight up the english one so to get around it i've actually searched titles in english and then somehow they pop they pop up but for the life of me i can never no now i just get a bunch of of it's because it's super scanning just everybody's stuff here it drives me nuts node wars the time's been changed it now doesn't suck nearly as bad for people on eastern time frame it's still late but it's manageable it's manageable i i, I i'm okay with it that's gonna do it for today's update it was a spicy one they've, to they've told us what the new class is gonna be when it they've given us a countdown to when it's coming out they've given us a new world boss great great things what was your favorite part about today's update let me know in the comments down below that's gonna do it for today thanks so much for checking out this video make sure you come join our discord discord.gg slash mass tv and keep an eye out i will be streaming live today at twitch.tv slash mass as well have yourself a wonderful day and until next time smash that subscribe button and stay classy